Hi there, so in this video I'm going to do a quick review of the three steps you need to take care of to get your gradebook set up and syncing over to PowerTeacher. So I'm here in Schoology in my fictitious food and nutrition class and the very first thing I need to do is make sure that my gradebook is all set up. So I'm navigating over to gradebook and when I open up gradebook just below I see grade setup. So as you can see here I have my various categories set up. I can choose whether or not I want categories weighted or if I want to go to points only just by checking and unchecking this box. Um, just to make matters fun, I'm going to go ahead and go with weights. So let's say I want discussions to be 10%, maybe I want the food journal to be 10%, maybe homework's another 10%, and we'll give it an even 10% for labs. Maybe that leaves me then 60% left, so I'm going to do 20% in projects, 20% in quizzes, and 20% in tests. So I just kept it kind of simple that way. Your weighting may or may not um, be similar. But I have my categories listed and I have the weighting set up. So that was the very first thing I had to do was just get it set up in Schoology. The second thing I need to do is figure out how I'm going to get Schoology to talk to PowerSchool. So to do this, I'm navigating down to the PowerSchool button on the left side of the screen. And that's going to open up a little screen that the very first time it might ask you, you know, do you accept or allow? And I already have some assignments, so that's why they're showing up here, but you can ignore that for a second. I'm going to the configuration tab. So the very first thing I have to do is basically tell Schoology when you sync with PowerSchool, where should you be dropping these assignments? By default, what it's saying is all of those categories that you set up, if I don't know what to do with, so I'm just going to call it a test in PowerSchool. So what I want to do is I want to customize the grade category mapping. And so what I'm going to do is look at my categories and decide what's homework. And remember, homework we talked about are things generally we ask kids to do at home. So in my class, homework is obviously homework, but so is the food journal. That's actually something I ask kids to do at home. So I'm going to have those two count as homework. For quizzes, I'm going to have quizzes count as homework. For tests, I'm going to have tests count as homework. And for projects, I'm going to have projects count as, as projects. The one thing that's missing here, though, is labs. And so if I don't give labs a category, it's not going to know where to put it in PowerSchool. So it doesn't necessarily easily fit the default homework, test, quiz, project, unless I think about how, in many ways, a lab for me is a formative assessment. How are kids applying the knowledge that, we, that we've been studying as it relates to the science of food and nutrition? So I'm going to actually add labs underneath uh, quizzes so that I have homework and food journal dumping into homework, quizzes and labs dumping into quiz, tests dumping into tests, and projects dumping into project. If anything, kind of a, a little analogy is to think of these power school categories is just as buckets. Where do I want these points to go in power school from Schoology? So I have that set up. I'm going to go ahead and click save changes. And it's saving now for me. So I have my categories all set up. They're syncing over. Things look pretty good. Um, the other thing I might want to do is automatically shorten um, assignment titles. Sometimes I get a little wordy when I'm naming my assignments. So I'm just going to check that box and that way in PowerSchool they're a little bit more succinct. So I have Schoology configured basically. I have my gradebook set up. I have um, the, the category set where things are going. The second thing I need to go is I need to go back to my PowerSchool gradebook because I decided to weight things. So let me scoot this up so you can see it. So I went through the process of logging into the PowerSchool gradebook. Um, when you open the gradebook, you're probably used to seeing something on your score sheet tab. But I went to the grade setup tab and here I am at, at S1 and so I'm just going to double click on it and basically it says how do you want me to calculate and so I'm going to calculate by category weights. And remember, I only have four categories that I can work with, homework, project, quiz, and test. So I'm going to go ahead and check all of those. And then I have to put in this category the weight. Now, here's the mental math that you have to think through a little bit. So let's think about homework. So if I go back to my gradebook and then grade setup, Ooh, and I weighted categories, but I guess I didn't save the weights. That happens sometimes, so let me fix that real fast. So I made each of these 10, except for the last ones were 20. And this time I'm going to make sure that down here I click Save Changes. There we go. All right, so the ones that I called homework were food journal and the category homework. So 10 plus 10 is 20. 
So in my Power Teacher Gradebook, I need to weight these as 20. Then project, if I look back here, it's just project, and so that's 20. Quizzes, remember I said those are going to be quizzes and labs. And so if I look here, labs are 10%, quizzes are 20%, so that means this category overall is going to be 30%. And then test is my only remaining, which would be, let's in theory, 20%. Let's see if I did this correctly. Test would be 20, projects, labs, what am I missing here? Oh, I'm missing discussions. Um, and discussions, I don't remember where I dumped discussions, so let me go look here for a second. Power school. You get to see the real life. What did Joe do? Configuration. Oh, discussions was my problem. I didn't put discussions anywhere. So I'm going to actually put discussions in homework. There we go. Save changes. So let me go back to my grade book here. So I need to make this a little bit larger. So 30, 50, just check my addition. Okay, I should be good to go now. And I can click save. Oh, and it's asking me to put in my password. Sometimes this happens. Okay, there we go. I think I'm good to go now. So I have basically my gradebook set up in Schoology. I have everything syncing. I have the categories mapped over to PowerSchool, the percentages lining up. Everything's good to go. Now I need to come along and give my kids some scores. So I actually have three fake students in my class here. And I went ahead and, and manually entered some scores. So this first assignment was something that they needed to turn into me. It was something they digitally uploaded. And so I just went through and entered their points as 10, 8, and then this particular student didn't turn anything in, so I just marked it incomplete. So let me go back and say that. And then this was a discussion form I wanted students to participate in. This student, I marked them excused. And then the other students, I gave them points, and so on, as you can kind of see. So I have the grades entered in Schoology, which is where we want all grades to live so that parents and kids can easily access them. But I need them to show up in our system of record, which is Power School. So I go back to the Power School button where I was before. And earlier when we came here, we just looked at the Configuration tab because we were setting everything up. But you might see that I now have some assignments here that it's asking me if I want to sync the assignment. So I'm going to go ahead and press Sync on the first couple of assignments. And depending on how many students you have and how many scores you have, you might it might take a couple of seconds for the sync to go over. So it synced that data. Now I'm going to go back to my gradebook here, and I'm going to go to score sheet, and it's kind of loading for a second. And right now I'm not seeing anything, but I'm not going to have a panic attack about that. Instead, what I'm going to do is I'm going to quit my gradebook, and I'm going to go back here and relaunch my gradebook and see if maybe you just needed to close and reopen. It's thinking. And there are the assignments showing up in PowerSchool. Now, one of the things I'm going to kind of have to investigate in PowerSchool is what happens with those excused and incompletes when they come over. But I see that the main points are coming over for now. So that's something, the excused and incomplete is something that we can sort of explore together as you guys are experimenting with it too. But hopefully that gives you kind of a, a brief tour of where to start it. Once again, setting up categories in Schoology, making sure the categories are mapping to the right places, and then setting up the sync in PowerSchool. If you have any questions, I'm certainly happy to help you. So are, so are Amanda and Matt. So just let us know.